match spawning in our lower left hand corner, we have the blue Zerg, TLO. And I'll be able to do this introduction because I'm about three minutes out of my meeting, but it is in the upper right hand corner, the red Perotas fighting for his tournament qualifier life, M. Canning. So, um, I will um, let you know when I'm having to sign off, but uh, for now, and I will continue to observe. So you can just call this match without me until I'm back. <laughs> um, and the spray comes down from him canning. I see. Go look, have fun in the, oh, in nice. the natural. <laughs> and what is this? We got an expansion here from TLO in the third. Is M. Canning aware of it? No. Interesting. So for all M. Canning knows, it, the, the, there wasn't an expansion yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, meanwhile, looks like M. Canning is throwing down that Nexus. Thinking something's up. Either... <laughs> Maybe this is a, a pretend, a pretend very early uh, Bane bus with Ling hiding this, <laughs> hiding this expansion in the third. But is the probe gonna go down? No, it's not gonna even think about it. Not even look. <laughs> the drone just goes back. Like doesn't even think what something's <laughs> takes the um. Begins mining down below. I love how there's just drones going. The, the incoming is like, oh, nothing to see there. It doesn't matter that there's a drone going to over to its right. Um, now the drone transfer begin for TLO. All right, you got this. Um, continue to cast. I will observe, and uh, I will be back shortly. All right, some leaves popping right? out onto the map. Yes, I could hear that. <laughs> I'm not going to mess my mute up this time. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. All right. Um, Taylor scouting the chronoing nexus, chronoing out those workers, those probes. Ling's kind of hopping around, seeing what there is to see. There's an adept waiting for them, so it might kill them quickly. One down. All right, and Taylor's taking... A third expansion at the proper spot <laughs> at its natural. So, looking at the map, we're looking at Imcanning's vision. Oh! It looks like the Stalkers are gonna get a kiss at that. Okay. So, Imcanning is not aware that Tilo is going for a very greedy opening here with three base. Ling's running, Ling's speed has been. Researched, I believe. I see wing. Yeah, they're fluttering, flying. This phoenix is like, nah, uh, uh. You ain't gonna. You're not gonna spy me, bro. And that overlord goes down. Nice vision of these minerals, making sure there's no proxies. I don't think TLO has searched the upper left-hand corner of the map yet, but it's starting to feel confident here. Um, re bases by the four minute mark. Now, yeah, Mkemi still does not know about that third. Star, Stargate is producing an Oracle. Gonna hope to do some harass early. Oh, there's already, <laughs> my bad. There's actually already an Oracle down doing some harass. Um, scouting around. There are spores in TLO's basin, so it's not gonna really be that in one. This Phoenix is picking off another Overlord. The, the supply, potential supply block is as good to keep Zerg on the toes, on their toes, I should. Ling's running back. M. Canning taking his third. Trying to see the vision here, toggling vision. You guys, well, I don't know what you're seeing. <laughs> um, Phoenixes are doing good work taking out these overlords and making sure vision is denied for TLO. 
Seaslings aren't aren't too enthused to see that I'm counting taking a third here. They're running across the map being chased by an oracle. They can't shoot up. These adepts catching these things out. Oracle coming in to help. Got its energy back. And meanwhile, while all the scurrying about, there's going to be an attack on the on the third expansion here. Probably get some. Maybe cancel it. Yeah, the Nexus are probably going to complete, but maybe he can cancel the shield battery, and he does. Alright, the Flood of Ling. Alright, and a Bane. I see a Bane nest here. Ling and Bane. Make Lings, make Banes, win game. <laughs> As a friend of mine likes to say. Alright, the Lings are going to try to poke and nipple their way through this wall. Stalk around hole position with the add up behind. Really doing a good job sealing it off, but they are gonna break through. They're gonna start nibbling at the, at the warp gates here. Oh my god, oh, oh my god, the Bane take out eight probes, nine probes down for Encanning. 22 wings in production and Bane speed about to search. This is getting rough. Oh my god, that third falls. M Canning has so much to deal with, he doesn't even know a fourth hatch has been taken. The carrier! M Canning has two carriers out, can't do much against carriers with just Ling. Now, an, an air weapon's level one for the Protoss upgraded. So let's just see if there's enough, to, enough um. Disruptors, if there's, they're probably structures, right? This is why I need a poke after. <laughs> Ling is running away. Hard to deal with these early carriers. <laughs> if Kenny retaking the base, he's gonna need a lot more minerals and gas to keep up the carrier production here. Fire goes down for TLO. Sees carriers and knows he can't. Those aren't to be trifled with. Probably get some either corruptors or mutas out on the map to help out with these corrupt or with these carriers. Too many carriers is not going to be a good time. Two more carriers are in production here, and the drone transfer over to the fourth. You know, liquid or TLO's economy is just kind of run away. That early third really helped out 86 workers to 57 it's quite the advantage here especially since M. Candy decided to go for such an expensive army and the economy isn't you know it's not like horrible but like just this third being denied constantly is really gonna affect the ability to just like get enough critical mass of air toss units or sky toss units here to be effectual because once the Corruptors, I see 10 in production, they get out. Uh. All right. Oracle's scouting, they see the creep has spread. That means probably indicates a fourth base. These Ling keeping tabs, keeping M Canning on his toes. The Corruptors, he spots the Corruptors. Six more Corruptors and upgrades in production for TLO. And a fifth base being dropped down. These carriers are huddled together for dear life in this Void Rave. They're just like, okay, we have to, we have to stay alive. M. Kenny knows he has to keep these Sky Toss units alive because if you get enough of them and they're upgraded enough, it can actually deal some insane amount of damage. It's just like TLO's economy is just so strong. And Kenning dropping the fours and these Corruptors quiet immediately to start their puke attack. <laughs> Corruptors coming in. Oh my gosh. They have eyes on the main. Seeing the void rays popping out. They're going to hover over this area, this fourth base area, to make sure nothing gets in. 
drop down. A shield battery help, doesn't doesn't do much to protect that warrior. And Bradley is gonna try to pick off this corruptor, and it escapes. Thirteen probes are down. Oh my god. Oh my god. The ling run by Wong and Kenny was doing these corruptors. Didn't see these ling banes. Oh my god. That entire base. The Nexus stands. It stands, but there's nothing left. Corruptors singling, picking off these void rays. There are a lot of carriers here, but these corruptors, oh my gosh, are just spewing <laughs> onto the main Nexus. Are they gonna snipe it? Nexus sniped by corruptors! Oh no! This looks horrible for him canning. Alright. TLO said. <laughs> Maggie and Bane's Bane's rolling away. Wings are gonna go back up. They know that TLO knows that M Kenny is trying to reestablish his base, and it just cannot happen. M Kenny is so mineral strapped right now. He knows that he has something. He has to make some kind of move. These carriers are. Oh my gosh! This is a bad position. There's so many queens here paired with the corruptors. Phoenixes are lifting up one single queen, but is it enough? Oh my god, and, and the voids are decimated. Corruptors, though, they still have a bit... a bit more left in them. This might be good, but meanwhile, while this is happening, Tillo's sending all of these lings in. This is, the third base is gonna fall again. There's 16 probes down. 16 drones down, but I mean, when you have such a huge worker advantage, I don't know that it's gonna really affect anything. There's only one Nexus left for Incanning. The Void Ray's coming out to try to help. Incanning is doing what he can to push across the map, but they're just really, oh my gosh, there's an overwhelming amount of comfort and it's GG for TLO. TLO takes it.